What we found is when people come and stay for two or three nights, the depth of what they get and what they can receive is by far more profound than if you only come in for a few hours or even for a, a full day. So that was our dream, was to have people be able to come here for extended periods. And from there, it then evolved into having retreats, three, four day, a week retreats. So it evolved and it proved that what we wanted to do could be manifested here. A sacred oasis is the best term I could use for it. It's an area for people to come, to connect to their own divine essence, to connect with nature, to reunite with their own heart. What we've found over the years, when people make a choice to re-enter into their heart and to connect to who they truly are, all the outside minutia, all the outside circumstances appear to fall away because they don't have any power anyway. And Angel Valley is a place where people can come to reunite with their own soul, their own essence of who they are. The whole property has been guided from the beginning, us being guided here, us knowing where to put what labyrinth, what to do, it was all inner, let's call it a divine guidance that provided how we do what and when we do it. I had no, I'll use the term, verifiable proof that there's any life beyond planet Earth, just an idea, a feeling. And then it was in April the 29th of 2008, as I was on my way to my tent, I stopped to talk to some people and we were about 10 of us gathered around and all of a sudden two women walk over and pointed in the sky and said, look. So we all looked up and there were seven craft just parked in the sky. The lights were just gently blinking and all of us were in awe. You know, it's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. And it was about five to eight minutes later, they all just in unison all just moved away. And that was a validation for me that yes, there is activity, there is life beyond here, and the labyrinth will not have been built in vain. The greatest hope I have, whether people visit the labyrinth or whether they visit um, the vortexes, is that they fall back in love with themselves. That they open their heart, see their own beauty, see their own uniqueness, because everything here is only a tool, only a vehicle to assist people to reconnect to their own truth. Because nobody knows what's best for anybody else. And somebody asked me today, what's my, what's my main focus? Right now it's just being in the now and knowing that whatever is needed will be provided. So when people come, I invite them, just be in the now, open your heart. And Angel Valley is a place for people to come and to retreat from the outer world, enter into their inner world. And the inner world is where peace is, where harmony is, where balance is. And to really enter into a new reality of knowing that circumstances do not matter. They do not create our reality. It's our state of being that manifests our reality. So when people come, we do our best at everything here to assist people to really connect back to their own now moment, their own divine essence, their own God self, and to listen to what their message is. So that is the, uh, let's call it the, the dream, the vision, is for each person that comes here to be able to take what they've experienced, not what they think, but what they experienced, and then live it when they go back into their day-to-day -day life. Because people say, yeah, you live in a, a different world. I said, yes, we do. But you can create that world yourself, wherever you are. All you have to do is go into your own state of being and shift your focus.